Hey, what's going on everybody? Greg Hyatt coming at you here this evening. I want to do a quick little video and pardon my background. No fancy YouTube background, whatever. But anyways, let's get back into the subject. The one thing that I feel has ever been missing in the application for Apple Notes is the ability to write in Markdown. And it's what causes people to look at outside apps to be able to achieve that. But I have some great news for you. Now you can write in Markdown in Apple Notes with a free add-on that you can get. But let me show you real quick exactly what I mean. So let's go ahead and create a new note. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit the slash key here because I'm going to give this a title. As you can see, title it and then just type in example note, right? So let's come down here and do the same thing. Forward slash, backslash, whatever you want to call it. And let's say maybe you want to put in a checklist. Right, there it is. And let's see, item one, item two, and just hit return two times to escape out of that and continue on. So maybe this time I want to do a subheading. So there we go, click on that. And this is a subheading. And continue on. I can spell this evening and let's come back in here and maybe we want a bulleted list right so we'll come down here and choose that and you can see I'm not gonna sit here and create all the different things that you could do within a note uh, to illustrate but you can see how simple that was right so I'll go back here to my entire note tree uh, my folder of notes just saying so see there's the example but better yet what i want to do is show you that it actually shows up in your native notes application even on your phone so bear with me here let me go ahead and uh, let's get the notes app all pulled up and of course it's going to have me authenticate so give me a moment and as you can see right here just like it was in the note that I had created over here, okay? Uh, let's see, that was the uh, demo note was the one we just done. So let's go ahead and double click that, right? And back over here to the phone. And as you can see, there it is. Uh, if I go back, I go back to the one, let's see, example note. There's one I just done, this subheading. There's a body of text for that note. So let's go back at that one because that was a demo. Uh, there's one I just done. There we go. So you can see right here, even on the native notes application, it shows up exactly the way that you've done it on your Mac. Now, since I am doing this on a Mac using a notes application, the link I'm going to show you here in just a moment is for a Mac desktop only. It's not for iPad, iOS, anything like that. But for those who do any kind of serious writing and want to do so using Markdown, it's one of the easiest ways I have found. Now I'm hoping that when iOS 26 releases, maybe sometime in September, I've heard that you'll be able to export from Apple Notes and Markdown, but I've not had any positive confirmation as to whether you'll be able to write in Markdown in them. But using this tool, you can. So what is it? Let me go ahead and open it up here. It's called Apple Notes, and it's at the website, pronotes.app. Pronotes.app. And as you can see, just download it for Mac. It does require Mac OS 13.0 or higher. And, of course, it gives you the overview. You know, what's marked down, how to utilize it, some of the cool things you can do, right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So those of you who already use markdown this would all be very very familiar but you can see some of the very quick tools that you can use like uh, pound space to create a title double pound space to create a heading and so on and so forth but there you go very cool little tool that i wanted to share with everybody in being able to write in markdown from their notes application using their mac but yet being able to have it display on their other uh, iOS powered devices, you know, that way they can see it exactly the way they typed it out. 
And of course, you're going to share those with a friend. So there you go. Pretty quick, pretty simple. I just wanted to, to share that so everybody could implement a new tool. And I'll be sure to put the link to the app in the description of this video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you don't mind, make sure to click like and share this video with someone you think might need to see this. Have a super evening. We'll see you.